we live in an information age, which means data and information are the heart of everything we do. The IT sector in which we work requires a lot of data and information which is widespread and can be stored anywhere. As a result, the question arises as how do we store this data so that we can retrieve it quickly for the further use. So, hello everyone, welcome to the Simply Learn YouTube channel. In this session, we are going to discuss an introduction to data structures. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without any further ado, let's get started with the agenda for today's session. First, we look at the definition of data structures. After that, we will understand why we need data structures. Later, we will discuss the different types of data structures. Finally, we will look at the importance of data structures. Hope I made myself clear with the agenda. Now, let's get started with our first concept, that is, what are data structures? Data is an information that has been translated into a form that is efficient to movement or processing in computing. As it relates to trace computers and transmission media, data is an information that has been converted into binary digital form. The term raw data refers to the data in its most basic digital format. After defining data, let's look at what data structure entails. A data structure is a data organization, management and storage format in computer science that allows for efficient access and modification. Or a data structure is an algebraic structure about data that contains a collection of data values, their relationships and their functions or operations that can be applied to the data. We will now understand why exactly we need data structures now that we have already defined what is a data structure. So let us have a look at some of the data structure characteristics. The first one is each data structure allows data to be stored differently. Following that, the data structure allows for more efficient data search and retrieval. Then specific data structures are chosen to solve specific problems. Last but not the least, it enables the management of large amounts of data such as large databases and indexing services such as hash tables. Let us now look at some real world examples of data structures. First and the foremost we have the dictionary. Assume that we are looking for the word simply learn in the dictionary. And we know it begins with the letter S. So we can search for this word beginning with the letter S and then this is an example of array data structure. As a result, this dictionary can also function like an array data structure. Following by that, we have a music player example. If you have a playlist with three songs, the second song will play after the first and the third will play after the second. So these will be played without any interruption because all these three songs are linked with each other using linked list type of data structure. So followed by linked list, the next example we have is the data structures. The stack of books analogy is a perfect example of the real-time working of the stack data structure. Subsequent to that, assume there is a line of people at a ticket window and the person who comes first gets the ticket. This particular movie window queue is an example for the real-time implementation of queue data structure. Last but not the least, Google Maps. Google Map is the graph data structure in which all the cities and states are connected. If we want to go from one place to another, there may be many ways to do so. So we can use some algorithms to find the shortest path. As a result, the Google map is a perfect example for the graph data structure working analogy. Following that, we will look at some different types of data structures in this tutorial. So the first type is the linear data structure. The elements in the linear data structure are arranged subsequently one after the other. They are simple to implement because the elements are arranged in specific order. Followed by the first type, the second type is the non-linear data structure which we will be discussing a bit later. So in linear data structures, we have four different types. The first one is the array data structure. Memory elements are arranged in a continuous order in arrays. And arrays elements are of same type. The software program also determines the type of elements that can be stored in arrays. So followed by arrays, we have linked list. Linked list are completely similar to data structures. Data elements in linked list data structure are linked together by a series of nodes. Furthermore, 
Each node contains the data items as well as the address to the next node. The third data structure is the stack data structure. Elements in a stack data structure are stored using LIFO principle. In other words, the last element stored in the stack is removed first. In stack, operations can only be performed in one end, namely the top. And the last data structure is the queue data structure. Unlike stack, queue data structure operates in the FIFO principle, which states that the first element stored in the queue is removed first. In a queue, insertion and deletion are carried out from opposite ends. Now we will discuss the second type of data structures, which are the nonlinear data structures. The nonlinear data structure is the second type of data structure. Nonlinear data structures do not have elements in any order as opposed to the linear data structures. Instead, they are arranged in hierarchical order with one element connected to one or more others. So the first one in the nonlinear data structures is the tree data structure. A tree data structure is built using nodes and edges. Each element in the tree data structure is called as node or vertex. Each vertex or node is connected to the other nodes or other vertices using edges. And the second one in the list is the graph data structure. A graph data structure is completely like a tree data structure. It also has the vertices and edges. Each vertex in a graph data structure is connected using edges. The only difference between a tree and a graph is that in tree you can have n number of vertices but in graph you will have only two vertices. After discussing the graph data structure, we will move ahead into the last segment of this tutorial that is importance of data structures. So the first one, data structures are widely used in almost every aspect of computer science both for simple and complex computations. Next, data structures are used in all areas of computer science including artificial intelligence, graphics, big data, operating systems and much more. After that, the data structures are an essential component of many computer algorithms because they allow programmers to manage data efficiently. Lastly, a proper data structure selection can improve the efficiency of a computer program or algorithm. So with this, we have come to an end of this session on introduction to data structures. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this particular tutorial, then please feel free to let us know in the comment sections below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.